okay, you're a Microsoft Excel and you want to insert a PDF into your worksheet. Now the PDF can appear like this, which is like a snapshot of the PDF, the front page, or it can appear as an icon. With both methods, if you double click, it opens the PDF. And if I sort this list by date, the PDFs will move within the relevant rows. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So you need to go to the insert tab on your ribbon and then go over to the text group and you're looking for a button called object. Now, if your resolution is different to mine, then you might need to look for this text menu and then object is available within that menu. Anyway, click on the object button, then go to create from file at the top here and then you need to browse for the PDF. Now I need to discuss this option here, link to file. By default, it's unticked. Now, if it remains unticked, what happens is, is that a copy of the PDF is embedded into your workbook. Now that's ideal if you're emailing the workbook out to a third party, because it means that they will be able to view the PDF because there's a copy within the workbook. If however you tick that option, what it is doing is linking to the original version of the PDF on your network. The benefit of that is, is if the PDF updates, you're always gonna see the latest version of the PDF. However, the downside is, is that you can't email that PDF link out to a third party because they don't have access to your network. So I'm gonna leave it unticked and I'm going to embed a copy of the PDF. Click on OK. So this is how the PDF appears. It's basically the front page of the PDF. We're going to need to resize it. And to do that, make sure it's selected. Go up to the Shape Format tab on your ribbon. And then I'm just gonna enter a width for the PDF. I'm gonna make it one centimeter. Then you can just reposition the PDF within a cell. If you want to get rid of the black border around the PDF, just right click on it, go to Format Object, go to Colors and Lines, and then where it says Color, change that to No Line, click on OK. So let's look at inserting the PDF as an icon. So we go back to Insert, and then over to Object again, Click on Create from File and Browse. Select your PDF, click on Insert. And this time we're going to tick this option, Display as Icon. If you want to change the caption beneath the icon, click on Change Icon. And then you can make any changes you want to. Click on OK, and then on OK again. And then you can resize the icon, go up to shape format, and I'm gonna enter a width again of two centimeters. Reposition the icon within the cell. I'm gonna get rid of the black border around the icon. Right click, format object, go to colors and lines, and change the color to no line. Click on okay, and there's your icon. Now, as I showed you before, if I sort this next date column, the icons stay within the relevant rows. Now, if you don't want that to happen, if you don't want the PDFs to move with the cells, what you've got to do is right click on the PDF, go to Format Object, go to Properties, and you'll find a section here called Object Positioning, and by default, Move but don't size with cells will be selected. So if I select Don't Move or Size with Cells, if I now sort by next date, only this PDF stays within its row. This one stays at the top of the table. Now I'll undo that. The other option you have in Format Object is to move and size with cells. So at the moment, that is not selected. Only move but don't size with cells is selected. 
So if I change the size of that cell, you can see now that the PDF is too big for the cell. So if I go and change that option and resize this cell, you can see that the PDF size changes. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.